So hi, uh, I'm Raghu Mittal, and I <coughs> did this sort of a side project. So I wa just wanted to talk about it. So before I begin, I just wanted to set some background. Like I was uh, basically looking at uh, buying a pair of headphones, and I was doing my, uh, you know, uh, research on the web. So I found this really cool website. It's called uh, Versus. So <coughs> it basically lists down all the top headphones. So this is how it looks like. So one problem for me here was that. There's no price listing here. So it just says, OK, th these are my rankings for the headphones, and these are the points. And apart from that, I was looking for a particular kind of feature in my headphone, which was like active noise canceling. So I, you know, I had to click on each and every <coughs> link to find out uh, for that. So, so I thought, OK, let's uh, use PhantomJS for this. So let me give you a quick background about PhantomJS. It's a, <coughs> it's a headless browser, and it's uh, basically used for testing and page automation. So some of the cool things about uh, PhantomJS is uh, it takes care of AJAX. So suppose you're testing your website, then you can wait for the AJAX to load and then do some uh, testing on that. Uh, it, it, even though it's sort of headless, it can take pictures for you. So it can you know, sa save those pictures on your uh, hard drive. And it's quite reliable. So <clears throat> one of the problems I faced was it doesn't work 100% of the time. So um, in, in the thing that I wrote, it had some issues. So I had to do some sort of a hack. And <clears throat> it, uh, it works as single threaded. So uh, since PhantomJS processes work in a single thread, what that means is it's not a really good way to write a crawler. <clears throat> and that's what I was trying to do. So what should I do? In this case, uh, I come from the Java world. <clears throat> so uh, what I did was I wrote a Java class, which was driving PhantomJS. So, yeah, so what I did was I basically wrote a fandom JS process which extracted all these links in one shot. So uh, this is how it sort of looks like. So I had a text file which contains all my two, top to 50 links. And my Java class was reading each of these links. And then it was driving fandom JS and giving the links to fandom JS so that it crawls each link and finds out uh, the pricing info and the other things. So. Quick thing about the results. Here are the results from my crawler. Uh, it basically lists down the rankings, the, uh, the title of the uh, headphone, the, the points, and the price, the mo most importantly. And you see something like this uh, funny uh, arrow, which indicates it's less than $100. So I was looking for a headphone which was less, less than $100. So my crawler just automatically marks something which is relevant to me. And apart from that, it also marks an NC at the end of the row, just to indicate this, this has active noise cancelling. So yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, you can check out the code at my GitHub uh, and get back to me. Thanks.